Are you ready? Let's take a look at what we have here. Why do you have so much trash? Are you taking all that stuff to Goodwill or something? No, that's my mom's stuff. Look, I found it. Great adventures await us. Have you fixed your antenna? Yep, it works like brand new. Have you tried catching a signal from outer space? I'm done with outer space. Don't give up. Imagine the opportunities. Beside outer space, I have other problems. I feel like someone tries to mess up my plan and set me up. Why do you think someone tries to set you up? Maybe you just have a deficiency of keratin in your diet or something. Do you diagnose me with paranoia? No, I just wanted to tell that I love you, my old friend. Come on dude, it's just the sewer flooded the yard, and now there is plenty of shit swimming around. But thanks anyway, bro. So, what were you saying about keratin deficiency in my diet? Do you think I don't consume enough lettuce? Never mind, I just wanted to comfort you, but honestly, I don't believe into that nonsense. What do you mean? Well, you know, all those deticians, psychologists, and so on, I think they just want to sell us their goddamn vegetables. Take a look at it, they plant and plant, and the whole planet is already covered with that bullshit. To get rid of it, they're brainwashing us to buy it. It's a conspiracy. We don't need the damn vegetables. We're Teletubbies. After all, we just want to live. But their damn lettuce and carrots ruin everything. Take it easy, man. Don't talk shit about my vegetables. I freaking love carrots. What would I do without my potatoes and tomatoes any day of the year? Don't scare me, bro. Are you brainwashed too? I haven't expected this from you. Perhaps, let's change a topic. You and me are family, and don't forget, no vegetables can separate us. There is always going to be some vegetable that will try set us onto each other, but we aren't fools. Don't forget we're Teletubbies. We should stick together, and no one should dare to separate us. And investing money into those companies, ruled by vegetables, would be very unreasonable. So, are you saying that it was pointless to buy Carrot Incorporated stocks? Wait, have you been scammed by spam newsletter? What do you mean? Damn, it was a joke I didn't think you're such an idiot to read spam newsletter. Only spammers send me letters. Well, besides you, but you always send me weird links to Zoo News. I'm such an idiot, why did I even give you my email address? Yeah, you're a total idiot, but not because you gave me your email address, but because you're just an idiot. So you're calling me an idiot, huh? Did you always considered me an idiot? That's right, and I want you to know that all of these monologues, about brotherhood and friendship among Teletubbies, were fake. There is no friendship. There is no vegetables, nothing personal, it's only business. You and me, it's only business, but I still love you, you stupid animal. Feels bad, man. You know, I always suspected it. Well, you know, there are hypocrite teletubbies who say one thing, but act completely differently, and I think I'm right. It's not because of keratin deficiency or paranoia, you're an asshole after all. And yeah. I trolled you, I didn't buy any vegetable stocks, but someone else did. It's not the time yet, let's hang out there, for a while. So, would you tell me who is that idiot? Yep, I forwarded the letter to your mom, and I think she invested all of your money into Carrot Incorporated. I'm sorry, but the idiot here is you. I'll rip you to pieces. Wait a second, what about Teletubbies? Brotherhood and friendship? Is everything you said about it is also a lie? There are no Teletubbies. Okay, okay, calm down. I'm just messing with you. I just wanted to see your face when I mentioned your mom, money and stocks in one sentence. You are an asshole, I swear. I could have ripped you to pieces. 
I know you very well, too well, but let's get the scooter back first, and then you can rip me to pieces. Although, you're predictable, so I decided not to risk it. Are you ready? Who is there? Carrot Incorporated. Nobody's home. If no one's home, then who are we talking to? It's I, Tom, Radio. Yes. Don't you mess around. Open up, or we'll breach this goddamn door. I'm for me. Although, we didn't buy any stock. Open the door immediately, pigs. Don't test our patience. I'm coming. I am. I'm going to break the door. Something is wrong here. Definitely. If we would have steal a scooter, we would hide it, at the very least. Yeah, but they are pigs. They're total ass hats. They have no idea how to take care of stolen junk. It's obvious that pigs have no brains. They are stupid although very quick, but it doesn't save them from the punishment. If pigs were smart and quick, then they could ride our scooter on a ranch. Excuse me, but why on a ranch? Are you that stupid that you can't get it? Oh. We, Teletubbies, will never hang out on a ranch. This is the only place where you can feel yourself safe and comfortable. First of all, it stinks on a ranch. Everyone knows that you like when it stinks. And second, wait no, one reason is already enough for your little brains to get fried. Just give us the scooter already, and we won't make hamburgers out of you. Stop her. I told you they're quick. Yeah, but they're also stupid. We can catch her up, near elevator. She cannot disappear on a scooter. The elevator is her only way to escape. And you, Mrs., should teach your children how bad it is to steal other stuff. Did you forgot how the universe works? The evil will be- Forget about her. Pepper is waiting for us. And why do I even carry this thing around? Give us the scooter back, or we'll make a plush toy out of you. At the very least, we should have crushed the antique vase. Maybe next time. Do you think they'll steal our scooter again? They're quick, but stupid. You can expect anything. For corruption. 